Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Metroid Prime 3 Corruption here on Metroid Monday. The end is in sight, I swear to God. It can't be too much longer now. In case you missed the last episode, well, who the fuck am I kidding? These last couple of episodes are going to be completely goddamn worthless. Completely. Oh, please, God, don't tell me I'm in the wrong room. Please, God, don't tell me I'm in the wrong room. Um... Okay, I don't think, no, I'm not in the wrong room. I'm going the right direction. Now the question is, I'm fairly certain that the battery is here in, in the, uh, well, maybe it's here. I'm going to check here first since it's actually closer to the exit. Yeah, I think I remember the, um, the battery blocking off the... Uh, route that you would take to get to the rest of Brio, because the Thorn Jungle is actually still connected to normal Brio, just very, very stupidly. Oh, for the love of God, loading times! Holy shit! The fuck do I have to do for a decent loading time in this game? Fucking Prime 1 and 2, no, no problem, but 3! Jesus Christ! Alright. Little phase on Grub, like I give a Freaking hell. Freaking shell bug looking like it's going hyper mode when it's not. God. I, I have to be close to finishing Brio. I have to be. I'm like fucking 85% done with this game. After so many years, I swear to God, it's close at hand. I swear. <sighs> Alright. Now, the question is... Where? Where, 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 where? That's it right there, isn't it? Yep, I think that's it. Energy generator can power large devices. America! Fuck yeah! Alright, take that battery and take it to go. It's a good thing I... Yeah, I, I, I actually have done this the right way, surprisingly. So, you use the ship grapple, lift up the battery, then you go to the other side of the machine works which coincidentally I unlocked one side of and now all I have to do is unlock the other side so life is good I think yeah sure we'll call it that this sequence actually seems awkward because what if you haven't unlocked one of the other side like the other side would you be blocked off because the uh, Moganar head isn't there I don't I'm not really quite sure how this works. Hey, my ride's coming. Hey, Popo! I'm recording here. Arrest me later. <laughs> uh, but anyways. This is the other side of the machine works. Open the bridge. Boom. Done. Nice and easy. Just the way I like it. For once, something's going right in this recording. Well... I guess a lot of things have been going right in this recording, but in, in this playthrough, for once, something goes right. Yeah, yeah. So, yesterday, the second-to-last episode of the Metroid Prime race between me, Gil Shanks, uh, Chaos Sinful Rose, and Papa Murph CM has gone up. Um, spoiler alert, I'm not going to win, but I'm not going to explain why. Uh, well, maybe I will. I'm playing on hyper mode, as you guys know, so I may be making the experience a little bit more difficult on myself, which is fine, I guess. Fuck. I hate losing! <laughs> I am the most competitive motherfucker on the face of the earth, guys. So, to lose for any reason, even though I'm playing on a harder difficulty, uh, yeah, it kind of sucks. Alright, you are annoying. You are seriously annoying. And I got a fucking thousand kills. Open your trap up. Open your fat ass up! Don't try and moon me, you jag bag. Open up! Thank you for fucking dying. Alright. This room is always so awkward. It's like, oh fuck, I'm corrupt. I would be corrupted. The instant before I press the goddamn button, boom, corruption happens. All right, whatever. 
Well, things were going all right, and now it's all gone to hell in a handbasket since I mentioned the race, and now my fail in the race is starting to fucking transition here. It's going to be close, though. It's going to be really goddamn close. But, yeah, close only counts in horseshoes and hand grenades, and luckily for me, this is neither. So let's platform on this... There's got to be an easier way of doing that. Like, there... Seriously? Like, no grapple point that I'm aware of or anything? Oh, whatever. See, I, I think I get the reason why uh, Corruption's load times are so awful in comparison to Prime 1 and 2. But besides the fact that it's a more powerful game, but it's on a more powerful system. It should kind of cancel out. Then again, the Wii's architecture is fucking ancient, but whatever. Um, it's mostly due to the fact that it's got big room, big room, big room, some small rooms here or there, but... The way Prime and Echoes had it spaced out, Prime more so than Echoes, um, you do big room, small room, so that in the process of the small room, usually like a morph ball or something here or there, uh, you would be able to quite easily uh, let the game load. Now let's place the battery. Hope to God this freaking system works so I can take this energy cell that I know is in there. I hope it's an energy cell, because so help me God, if I went on this wild goose chase for fucking missile tank, it just dropped the battery in there. Yeah, that, that sounds like it'll work. Yeah, it is an energy cell. Yeah. It doesn't quite work like that. You don't just drop a fucking battery in and boom. It, you, you gotta place the battery in meticulously. Like, what if the ship had missed... And it, like, landed headfirst onto its grapple point. Then we would be really screwed, Samus. Then the entire galactic civilization as we know it would end. Because you couldn't get one energy cell. Even though you actually don't need all energy cells to complete the game. So I'm just making mountains out of molehills. As I always do. Fucking sick of Brio. I love Brio, but goddamn. I just want it to be over. Give me that. Eight energy cells. What? I think there's nine. So, like, one more, I think. All right. So, now that that's done, uh, the way forward should be clear. Jesus Christ, the fucking hangar bay is an age away. Actually, no, it's not. I can just go down. You go down, back, and to the left. Back, and to the left. And uh, hopefully I should hit the ship bay. Because, if I'm not mistaken, I do have all of the pickups in normal Brio, as we'll call it. Hope to God that's true. So, Thorn Jungle. Not seeing anything in that sector. This is normal Brio with awesome music. Not seeing anything there. Alright, that's it. That is indeed it. So, I went the wrong way. You don't go down, you go up. Alright, it's no big deal. Uh, so, um... I do have a project in mind to keep going with Metroid Mondays on. Uh, even after Corruption is finished. Because Corruption is the last big Metroid game that I need to do. I'm not going to do Metroid 2, guys. Everything in that game looks the fucking same. I'm familiar with the uh, Return of Samus remake that was uh, made by a fan and it's actually not done yet. Uh, it's it's in the Metroid Zero Mission style and it looks really, really good, but I'm not going to do that until it's finished. And uh, even then, I'm not sure if I'm going to do a fan-made game, even though it's based on a real game in the series. I'm just not sure. So, really, the only other Metroid game that I can think of. So I, I've done Metroid uh, Zero Mission, which is the events of Metroid 1. I, God, no, I'm not going to do the original Metroid. That's hard as balls. It's outdated. I mean, it's still a good game, but I would never, ever go to that game when I have Zero Mission, which is a vastly, vastly improved remake. Um, and I've already done Zero Mission. So, uh, Metroid 1 is out. Metroid 2 is out. Um... I, I want to stay on Brio, actually. Let's go to the fiery air dock. 
I've done this. This will mark the end of the Prime series, with the exception of Hunters, and I've never played Hunters, and it doesn't really looks like something that would kind of go well with me. I know not a lot of people have played it, so it might be interesting to see something that you haven't played, but I haven't played it either, and I'm not about to do a Metroid game blind, because the last time I tried that, it was uh, that other game. Ha, <laughs> see what I did there? Other game. But, I mean, I've done Super Metroid God knows how many times. I've done Metroid Fusion now. The... <laughs> There is nothing left for me to do in, in the Metroid series. I, I've even done that other game. Yeah. So, I have beaten the Metroid series to death. So, for Metroid Mondays to continue... Uh, with one final series before I, I trade it for something else, probably. Uh, no, I can't open you up, actually. Um, I do have one more project in mind. But... Yeah, it's going to be a while yet. Let me see. That leads to Brio Ice, does it not? Warp. Uh-huh. So, at the very bottom here, in the Temple Reservoir, is, uh... I believe what I needed the Hazard Shield for. And that's literally it. And then there's a couple of things in Brio Ice. So... Yeah. Brio is almost done. I mean, this whole fucking game is almost done. It's so fucking good to get it over with. Even though I do like this game, it, I, I've said it many times, it's, it's the weakest of the Prime Trilogy for me. Just due to the improvements that they made to Echoes. And God, those were some good improvements. Uh, I think I want to go down, as I recall. I want to go down. Okay. So, take me to Brio Ice. Take me to Brio fucking Ice, where I found that awesome-ass screw attack, and where I intend to finish this little excursion of mine. Alright. Exploring the solar system. Elysia's done, Norian's done, Brio's about to be done. I'm gonna do the, uh... I'm going to do the Pirate Homeworld last because I kind of need something inside of the Valhalla. So we're going to be going into Uncharted Territory pretty soon. And when I say Uncharted Territory, I mean that literally because there actually aren't any markers uh, for the expansions inside of... Uh... Please, God, tell me I had to come here. All right, yeah, I did. Okay, things are all right. Um, there aren't any markers inside the Valhalla to tell you where the expansions are because, well, the Chozo Searcher did not actually explore the Valhalla. So, yeah. Um, hmm. This could be a problem. Wait, I think, do I want to get on? I think I see something over there. And am I right? Oh, God, that was close. Ship Missile Expansion. I have barely used you at all. God. Uh, I don't think I've used you since uh, destroying the uh, barrier generators. Kind of a shaming. Er, a shaming. Kind of ashamed that I could have gotten that before, but there was one other thing that I'm pretty sure I need to get, which is on the other side of this door. Supposedly. Spider-Ball track. Indeed. So, let's just go to the bottom. Surely the track starts somewhere. Uh, it's one of these... Sp I was holding the, the button to grip, so I don't know. You fucked up, game. Oh my lord. This is one of those Spider-Ball puzzles. I, I hesitate to even use the term puzzle because this is so piss easy in comparison. But. Wait, what? Oh! Oh, okay, I see. So it's a boost ball track. Kind of difficult with the camera angles you provided in the game. 
Kind of difficult indeed, but epic. The return to Brio Ice is not without events. So, yeah, events, stuff happens. Lots and lots of... Lots and lots of boost balling. Lots and lots of bombing. Lots and lots more boost balling. And thank Christ, energy tank acquired. Holy shit. If that was for a missile expansion, I would have... You guys don't understand. Missile expansions are so fucking pointless. I don't use them. Charge beam, maybe? There we go. So let's go. On the hand, I present to you the gift of Samus Aaron. The Chozo will gift Samus to the Brionians and save their planet long after the Science Lords are dead. Yeah, that sounds about right. So Brio Ice is done. Let's just make sure that... Because the last thing I ever want to do is... Eh, I didn't think so. Brio Ice is a small little area, so... Ah... <sighs> And now we've got one more expansion, and Brio will be done. Boy, that was fun. It took two and a half videos to finish this, but it's finally going to be done. So, all that leaves is the Valhalla. So, take me back to Brio Fire. I kind of don't like to... Hmm. I actually should have, if I was thinking correctly, gone to Brio Fire and get gotten that expansion first before coming straight to Brio Ice, but whatever. It's over. It's done with. It couldn't have cost me more than a minute or two. Yeah. Going into the maw of something hungry. Something long since frozen. What the fuck am I talking about? This is the problem with a video like this. It, it's such blatant filler. And more to the fact that I just didn't want to collect the stuff off camera. I, I can only stand this game so much in slices because the end game collection... It, it's much worse in, in Echoes than it is in this game, but... Oh, fuck. Yeah, suck much less. Um, it's still a little bit painful, because there's a lot of things that you still need to come back to. And I guess there are other fluid ways that you could do it, like go back to Norian and kind of integrate it with your play... Oh, fuck you! I don't think so. I don't give a damn about Fuel Gel, Mr. Phazoid Scumbag. Fucking asshat. Get out of my way. Holy shit. Screaming at the top of your lungs, Sammy. You miss me, Sammy? I'm talking to you but from beyond the grave. I'm multi-talented. Yeah, whatever, Ridley. Um, let's just get this shit over and done with. I hope that they have not, like, brought back the bullshit of me having to knock out the generators again. They could not have reinstalled the fucking generators that I destroyed, could they? Oh, fuck. That's gonna hurt. Oh, fuck. That's really gonna hurt. Oh. Alright. Am I at full energy? I gotta be close. Nope. Generators are destroyed. Uh, all that's left is the stupid war pound thingy. But, more to the point... We have Phazite, and we know the deal with Phazite. I'm just going to ignore these stupid fucking enemies because they're pointless to me. Oh, into the fuel gel. Take a fuel gel bath, Samus. Ah! Was I getting attacked during that whole fucking cutscene? So if they're spewing fuel gel at me, why... You know what? Fuck you. Let's try... Guerrilla warfare. Like, fight you fuckers from underneath. Oh my god, the hyperball sucks. <laughs> um. What am I looking for? Like, where exactly is the item here? Alright, it 
it's over there. It's not too... Okay, this is ridiculous. I should have killed you fuckers when I was... Ugh. Oh, man. Oh, this is so stupid. Why didn't I kill them when I was up above? Just making it complicated on myself. All that for a missile expansion. Oh, well, you gotta give the missile expansion some love. How many do I have? I don't even know. Alright, you, you, you mutts are so fucking dead. You guys are about to see animal slaughter on the channel, so avert your eyes if you do not want to see mad scientist raving land soon. Fucking come in and rip these dogs a new fucking asshole. Brio's done, but oh no, oh no. You want to screw with me? I'll teach you to fuck with me. Get the fuck out of my way. Seriously, get the fuck. Ah. I was told that I missed a uh, scan data somewhere uh, down in that uh, room where you order the ship bombing run. But I've completely and utterly forgotten where that is, so I don't care. Let's just get this part done. I'll finish at the doorstep of Valhalla and we'll have a nice, not too long episode. That's the goal, anyway. Provided I do not get... This is what you use the missiles for. Or not. This is what you use the missiles for. Puzzle solving. Alright, so I've got 220 missiles, obviously, thanks to their uh, extra seeker... Uh, extra missile expansion provided by the seeker missiles. Um, we cap out at 255. And the only reason why we have capped out at 255 is just because the game's like, well, we did it in the other two Prime games, so why the fuck not? I mean, Super Metroid caps at 230, so why why such an even number, bro? You couldn't have given me, like, power bombs or something like that for expansions? No, you can't give me power bombs. We gotta give you ship missile expansions for a ship missile fucking bombing run that I have never demonstrated because I've never seen a convenient opportunity to do so. Seems like an unfinished feature, if you want my honest opinion. Just seems like, I don't know, something that was given more thought in the planning stages than in the final touches. Like, they should have done more with it, I guess, is what I'm trying to say. So we bid farewell to Brio, and we bid farewell to Rundus' ship, which is forever going to be here as his personal memorial. Hashtag everybody loves Rundus. Everybody loves Rundus. Anyways, let us land in this really, really fucked up looking system. Like, what is the deal with the Galfar system? I don't know. Maybe we'll see it in Star Wars Episode 7. Oh, never mind. Land our ship! I swear to God, there cannot be more than two, two more episodes of fucking collecting, and then I'll be on to the finale. So, I hope you guys have enjoyed this meaningless episode of Metroid Monday, and, uh, yeah, next time, we go headfirst into the Valhalla. Wait, really? How many energy, am I missing an energy cell? Uh... No, I'm not. I have I have all nine. All nine are accounted for. One's just been placed. Alrighty. So, we're 100% on energy cells, and there's a lot of stuff to collect inside, including information on what happened way back when we were told about this uh, Valhalla being intercepted by space pirates. So, stay tuned for plot and a whole, whole, whole hell of a lot more collecting. So... I will see you guys next time. Thanks a lot for watching, folks. Let me know what you thought with your comments and feedback. And if you really enjoyed the video, I've got a slew of other projects going on that I update regularly. So if you're interested, please consider subscribing to stay up to date. Have a good day, everyone.